what up though what's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome scorpios out there i hope everyone in my scorpio collective is doing well so we can you know, we're gonna get into this reading you guys and see what it is that you need to know if anything resonates for you don't forget to like share subscribe and comment if you have not if you're interested in a personal, right now I am running a special on my readings. That information, including the price and my email address, will all be in the description box below. So let's get into it, y'all. So first, we're going to start off with my I am no longer available for. And we're going to see what you guys should no longer be available for, okay? All right. So what we got. All right. So Scorpio, some of you could be around people and all they do is sit up and talk about everybody else and what they ain't got and they enjoy putting other people down but what you don't realize is that these same people that enjoy talking about other people and putting them down they missing something in their life the same people they talking about they envy those people okay they really wish they had what those people had okay so these are people these are people scorpio that you should not be surrounding yourself around because guess what when you leave they probably talking about your ass too okay messages for scorpios what should my beautiful and handsome Scorpios no longer be available for? Let's see, one more. One more for, ooh. All right, y'all see how that flew out. Let me go grab it. Okay. So we have toxic family members and friends, okay? And for some of you, your toxic family members and friends could be your parents. Hell, my parents toxic. You can have toxic siblings, cousins, in-laws. You know what I'm saying? These are toxic family members that you don't need to be around. For some of you, these are the main people I'm talking about that sit up and talk about the next family member, the next sibling. You know what I'm saying? And then be all in their face, each skinning and grinning and like they ain't saying nothing. Also, people who don't like to take accountability for their actions, okay? There are a lot of people that'll do shit, what they call it, throw the, throw the stone and hide their hand. And like, who, who did that? I did that. Okay, we need to take accountability around this bitch. We ain't got time to be, you know, everybody make mistakes. I got to apologize. I ain't perfect, you know what I'm saying? But taking accountability, uh, taking accountability shows that you're grown, okay? That you've grown, that you know how to admit when you're wrong and that you don't have a big-ass ego. Because when you're not able to take accountability and you're not able to apologize for shit that you already know is wrong, that shows shit how childish, how immature you are, okay? So let's get into it, y'all. Let's pull some messages and let's see what you guys need to know. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What does Scorpio need to know? <clears throat> oh, damn, okay. They want to come out, so I've seen it. So we got toxicity. So someone here is bound to some toxic ways or someone here has a toxic pattern, okay? It's like they keep doing the same old shit over and over and over again now this card is giving me the energy that maybe someone is trying to break free you know what i'm saying of their toxic ways or people that surround them okay someone here this could be you or someone around you okay they can have a lot of toxic family members okay and they feel chained they feel bound to these people in these situations but i feel like someone here is trying to free themselves from this toxic pattern here because we got faith because i feel like if not there's going to be some type of tower moment okay it's like either the divine is going to have to intervene somehow and a lot of times y'all we don't want the divine to intervene if the divine try to show his spirit trying to show us some shit and and we choose to add blind and they're like we don't see or understand what the fuck going on then spirit has to come throw a motherfucking tower moment you don't want that shit okay but i feel like there is a t detour okay someone here is about to take another path here and this is like this and this is like fated to happen because the divine had to step in okay i feel like someone here whoever this was like they've been fighting this toxicity for a long time okay that i feel like for some of you this could be you or someone that you're dealing with like they've been trying to fight these toxic ways they've been trying to fight it and it's like they can't do it on their own but this is someone who maybe doesn't know how to call upon the divine 
or they don't have that connection with source to ask for help here, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. <clears throat> what does Scorpio need to know? I'm, I'm seeing another deck here. What am I seeing, y'all? Messages for Scorpio. I'm going to continue with this one. What, what does Scorpio need to know? Cycle. Man, I can't make this up. Look at this. Someone here keeps going through the same fucking cycle, and it's time for a change. Five, five, five can be significant here. For some of you, you've completed some type of cycle, and you're it's like you're in this energy of transforming. Some of you guys are transforming right now. But I feel like for some of you, there is someone around your energy that's trying to end a toxic cycle. And it's like, they can't do it on their own, okay? So the diviners have to step in and help them make this change. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up because this is someone who is supposed to be transforming their life. Like, whatever, whoever this is, they're not supposed to be going through this shit. But this is someone who I really feel like just don't have that connection with the divine to ask for help. Messages for my... Scorpios. <clears throat> like I always say, nine, 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 ten, ten can be significant here. When I tell y'all how often I see ten, ten, like y'all would be, I say this shit every day, I feel like, but I don't be lying. Like it, it come out here. It always comes out. All right, for some of you, you can be dealing with a fire sign, or this could be about a fire sign, okay? This could be about an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, okay? And I feel like whoever this is, it's kind of like the Ace of Wands. This is like a new beginning. Like I said, you have to end some shit to have a new beginning. And someone here is needing to end some type of toxic cycle in their life so that they can have this new beginning, this new happy, brand new beginning. Because I feel like shit ain't been so happy and great in their life, okay? You can be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And this is someone who has to speak the truth. Like, they have to have the mental clarity to feel like they can have this new beginning and to be able to make these changes in their life because this is someone who's not going to be able to freedom man i can't come on man i can't make this up everything i'm saying is coming out here in the cars y'all see this someone here is bound they're trying to free themselves from a toxic connection toxic family members and friends and they're not ever going to feel free not never them two what's them called double negatives <laughs> this is someone who's never going to feel free like this is someone who feels like every move that they make everything that they do it's because of other people like someone here feels like they just can't live the life that they they want to live someone here is going to have to take some type of leap of faith uranus okay this has to do with hold on Okay, yeah, you're in this rule, Sag, okay? So this could be someone who has Sagittarius placements in their chart. Scorpio, you could be a Sagittarius moon or rising here. But I feel like someone here is going to miss out on opportunities in their life if they don't free themselves from some type of toxic connection. And for some of you, this toxic connection has to do with their own family members here, their own parents, their own siblings, cousins, in-laws. So let's pull here. Let's pull just a little bit. Messages for Scorpio. Tell us about toxicity. Clarify toxicity. I don't feel like it needs to be clarified, but let's get into it. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. Let's clarify toxicity. Who is this person that's trying to end these toxic patterns or the, their toxic ways? Messages for Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this video. Tell us about toxic ways, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is Seven of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this is someone who always invests all their time, all their energy. They give their all to the wrong people. That's the problem. And whenever they do this, they give their all. They give all this time, all this energy, money as well. Okay, because this is someone who don't mind helping people and giving financially. But it's like they don't ever get that payoff. Like, all the time and shit that they invest into other people and other situations, they never get the reward. They never get the payoff. They never get back what they invested here. And this is someone who ignores the call. Like, they just keep giving and giving and giving and giving. They feel like, oh, if I just keep giving and this and doing this, you know, things will get better. If I just keep on, no, it's not. If you keep doing the same old shit, you're going to keep getting the same results. The only way you're going to get some different results if you do something different here, okay? And this is someone who keeps on doing the same shit, and, and, they, and they keep wondering, why ain't nothing changing? Why ain't nothing happening? Why shouldn't getting worse? Because you're not making any fucking changes here. You're just continuously going through the cycle over and over and over and over again, okay? 777 can be significant. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus here. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be that particular sign, y'all. It can just be the energy that they're in, okay? Tell us more. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about toxicity. Look at this, man. Because if somebody here keep keep this is somebody that keep convincing themselves. Like I said earlier, they keep convincing themselves everything is fine, nothing needs to change. They're living in this illusion here. Okay, someone here has created their own illusion. It's based like this person is delusional. Because when you create an illusion and that shit is not true, you made yourself delusional here. Okay, you're refusing to see reality. You get lost in your thoughts. It's someone who lives in their head, but they cannot see things for what they truly are. And this is why they're having a hard time breaking these cycles and, and ending these toxic patterns because they're refusing to see things for what they truly are. All right, so let's look at what's faded. How is the divine going to step in here? Tell us about this tower. So we're going to clarify this tower that's going to happen, okay? For some of you, I'm telling you, this eclipse season, a lot of folks back to get clipped out of people's lives here. Do you hear me? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what do they need to know? Tell us about faith. For some of you, someone here is dealing with a karmic third party. Or this can either be like a mother figure or a feminine figure in their life. But they basically control this person's life. They rule this person's life. This is, this is for some of you, this toxic person who they feel bound to. Okay, like I said, this could be a family member. This can be a loved one. But they're very cold. They're calculated. They make everybody around them suffer. Okay, they're very manipulative. And they don't care about your feelings. Okay, this is somebody who will do whatever it takes. Like, they don't give a damn if, if them hurt you. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a damn whatever they say or whatever they do, if it hurts you or not. You know? And this is someone, you got to you gotta stay away from this person. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about faith. How is the divine going to step in? Tell us more about this Queen of Swords. For some of you, this could be a Virgo or a Libra. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit. How is the divine going to step in? For some of you, this may not even be a feminine energy. This could be a masculine energy as well. This is the energy that they're in, okay? All right, so we got the page of wands, okay? So what's going to happen is there's going to be something good, okay? When the divine steps in, there's going to be something good, and there's going to be somebody that's going to have some good news to share, okay? So I feel like the divine stepping in is going to bring some type of positive change here. Because we have the magician, okay? This is like somebody's wish, somebody's dream coming through, or somebody being able to use their personal power here, okay? I feel like someone here is finally going to be able to use their personal power and be able to close out some type of cycle or see things for what they truly are and stop living in this make-believe fantasy-ass world, okay? Someone here is going to set their intentions. And I feel like this is someone who feels like if... For some of you, whoever this is, they're going to have to come to a realization. I feel like when the divine steps in, they're going to realize, like, shit, if I don't change my ways, if I don't close out this cycle, I'm not going to be able to have love. Because this person looks free. They look happy, okay? Someone here wants to be free. They want to be happy. But I feel like someone here also wants love. And they've been manifesting the type of love, the type of partner that they want, okay? For some of you, this talks about a soulmate here. So I feel like once someone finally closes out some, some type of cycle, they can get the type of love. They can experience the type of love and be happy in that love and that relationship here. Tell us more. Let's get one more. Messages for Scorpio. We got Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What do they need to know? Yeah. But what they're going to have to do, this is the problem. This is crossing. This is the problem. What are, are they going to give up this heavy burden? Because someone here is, keeps carrying around this heavy burden. And they keep trying to convince themselves it's okay. This is normal. This hard work, this responsibility. Okay? Is they struggling every day? Is this someone who's going to release this heavy burden? Or are they going to continue to do it? You know what I'm saying? They're going to continue to carry on. Because this is someone who needs to let go. They need to be free so they can enjoy life and experience these new opportunities in their life, okay? So for some of you, this eclipse 
could be very powerful. It's going to help whoever this is who has created this illusion to see shit for what it really is, okay? So let's get the signs. We had air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Sag, Heavy Sag, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Taurus. So let's roll. Let's see who this is. All right, so we got Scorpio, Heavy Virgo, Taurus. Virgo been kind of heavy today. We got Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. And we also have Capricorn, Cancer, and Heavy Gemini here, okay? So let's, let's go to the who that. All right, let's see who this reading is about. If anything has resonated with you guys, don't forget to like this video. And if you are interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for Scorpio? All right. This can be an older male, so you can be this. This can be someone you're dealing with. We got straight hair, wears ponytails. This can be a male or female who wears ponytail. Messages for Scorpio. Who is this reading about? All right, we got short beard. And we also have a 35 to 40. All right, you guys. That's all I have. I love you, Scorpio. And until next time, stay blessed.